In Jeremiah chapter 9, verse 2. Oh, that I had in the wilderness a lodging place of wayfaring men, that I might leave my people and go from them, for they be all adulterers, an assembly of treacherous men, and they bend their tongues like bows for lies, but they are not valiant for the truth upon the earth, for they proceed from evil to evil and know not me, says the Lord. Take heed every one of his neighbor, and trust ye not in any brother, for every brother will utterly supplant and every neighbor will walk with slanders, and they will deceive every one his neighbor and will not speak the truth. They have taught their tongue to speak lies and weary themselves to commit iniquity, witchcraft. All right, so I'm just not talking and talking. So now that we're going to go to Book of Psalms, chapter 12. And we're going to start at verse 2. They speak vanity, every one with his neighbor, with flattering lips and with a double heart They do they speak. Remember I told you about the double tongue, the pretentious? The Lord shall cut off all flattering lips and the tongue that speaks proud things. Who have said, with our tongue we will prevail. Our lips are our own. Who is Lord over us? For the oppression of the poor, for the sighing of the needy, now will I rise, said the Lord. And I will set him in safety from him that puffs at him. The words of the Lord are pure words. As silver tried in a furnace of earth, purified seven times. Thou shalt keep them, O Lord. Thou shalt preserve them from this generation forever. The wicked walk on every side when the wildest, vilest men are exalted. Now we're going to go to the book of Micah chapter 7, starting at verse 2. The good man is perished out of the earth, and there is none upright among men. They, law, they all lie in wait for blood. They hunt every man his brother with a net. They hunt every man his brother with a net. Witchcraft that they may do evil with both hands earnestly. Okay? So we're going to go down here. The best of them is as a barrier. The most upright is sharper than a thorn hedge. The day of thy watchman and thy visitation comes. Now shall be their perplexity. That goes again. Trust ye not in a friend. Put ye not confidence in a guide. Keep the doors of thy mouth from her that lies in thy bosom your girlfriend, your husband, for the son dishonors the father and the daughter rises against her mother and the daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law. A man's enemies are they, are the men of his own house. What? A man's enemies are the men of his own house. Therefore, I will look unto the Lord. I will wait for the God of my salvation. My God will hear me. Rejoice not against me, O my enemy, when I fall. I shall arise when I sit in darkness. The Lord shall be a light unto me. I will bear the indignation of the Lord because I have sinned against him until he plead my cause and execute judgment for me. He will bring me forth to the light and I shall behold his righteousness. So, so it's in Micah, it's in Jeremiah, it's in Psalms. Now Proverbs um, chapter 27 verse 14. He that blesses his friend with a loud voice rising early in the morning, it shall be counted a curse to him. A continual dropping in a very rainy day and a contentious woman are alike. Whosoever hides her hides the wind and the ointment of his right hand, which berates him. Okay, so there you got that precept. Now we're going to go again to Proverbs chapter 28 verse 5 a man that flatters his neighbor spreads a net for his feet we we understand what a net is right okay so a lot of people love new testament so i'm gonna go to new testament for you so this is the book of mark chapter 13 verse 12 now the brother shall betray the brother to death and the father the son and the children shall rise against their parents and they and shall cause them to be put to death. And ye shall be hated of all men for my name's sake. But he that shall endure unto the end, the same shall be saved. But when you shall see the abomination of desolation spoken of by Daniel the prophet, stand where it ought not. Let him that read it understand. Then let them that be in Judea flee into the mountains. Well, we're going to stop there. When you read, you must understand things that you read. You shouldn't just be reading for reading's sake. And you should be reading to understand what you're reading. Now we're going to go to the book of Matthew, chapter 10, verse 34. You can get that in your Bible. We're going to continue because these are the last days, right? 
Think not, what does Christ tell you? Think not that I'm come to send peace on earth. I came not to send peace, but a sword. For I'm come to set a man at reverence against his father and a daughter against her mother and the daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law. A man's foes shall be they of his own household. What? Let me read that again for you. And a man's foes shall be they of his own household. He that loves father or mother more than me is not worthy of me. And he that loves loves son or daughter more than me is not worthy of me. He that and he that takes not his cross and follows after me is not worthy of me. And he that finds his life shall lose it, and he that loses his life for my sake shall find it. Those who do the will of God, the same are my mother, my brother, and my sisters. That's what Christ says. So not just because who the Lord gave you as your earthly parents, your mother, your sister, your brother are those in Christ. Understand that. Because you're going to have brother and sister and mother who are going to be serving Satan and trying to be stealing your souls. So you got to understand we are living in a dangerous time. Let, let the Lord speak, not me. Let the Lord speak. All right, and I just want to touch in um, the book of Ezekiel, one quick second, chapter 22, verse 12, we get there. In thee have they taken gifts to shed blood, thou hast taken usury and increase, and thou hast greedily gained of thy neighbors by extortation, and hast forgotten me, says the Lord. You guys know what you do against your neighbors for your money. And that's what the Lord, the Lord knows. Behold, wherefore I have smitten my hand at thy dishonest game, which thou hast made, and at thy blood, which thou hast been in the midst of thee. Can thy heart endure, or can thy hands be strong in the days that I shall deal with thee? The Lord asks you, are you going to be able to, to be strong when he deals with you, when he punishes you for what you do? I, the Lord, have spoken it and will do it. So I want you to understand about you people with your dishonest game. The Lord sees and he's not slack in his punishment. So just trust not in many, brother, and beware of your neighbors. We're living in that time. And don't listen to me. Let the scripture speak. Let the Lord speak. Let the Lord speak. So if you think I'm just talking to talk, you let the Lord speak to you. Let the Lord speak to you. They all lie and wait for blood. They hunt every man, his brother with a net. Let the Lord speak to you. Don't let me speak to you. Everything I say, prove me. Go into scriptures because the Lord's word cannot be broken. Let God be true and every man a liar. So I'm going to stop it right there. You have a blessed day.